What tools do you actually need to work on these VWs? We're going to discuss that today and more. Hi guys! You never know what you're gonna say. Neither do I. <laughs> Gorilla in the back of my brain. Yeah. One of these days, YouTube, I'll explain that reference. We okay. use it quite a bit. Yeah. A bunch of monkeys running around upstairs. That's true. That's true. Got a question? Or the chimpanzees? <laughs> I'll have to ask the gorilla. Yeah. What's ask whoever's in charge there. Uh, yeah, I'm not. <laughs> All right, the question is, what kind of tools do you actually need to work on a classic VW? Oh, the brain. I was not expecting that, but it's true. Yep. Okay. Um, a basic set of metric wrenches, open-end wrenches, mm -hmm. um, or they call them spanners, I think, or that's vice grips. I don't know. Vice grips are handy, two sizes. Mm -hmm. uh, Phillips, screwdriver, three sizes, and probably some flathead screws, but not many. Uh, socket set is always a good one um, and the ever faithful very sharp drill bits and drills to drill out the really bad bolts that are stuck okay and what's the one that always goes missing well there's two of them so if it's a 13 millimeter or a 10 millimeter it disappears uh -huh. that's the most common bolt on, right. on VWs the 13 so and the stock 10. up on 10 millimeters yeah in fact you can get them in three packs <laughs> so and then open end sockets, it's the same thing. And it's especially the quarter inch. I don't know why the quarter inch, three eighths, we seem to be okay on, but the, the quarter inch, uh, 10 millimeter, pff, good Lord. <laughs> I, I, you know, and that's just the basic set. I mean, you can have a big old toolbox like me, but I've just got a lot of tools over the years. Yeah. And don't go buy good quality, but you can also get them from like um, Pawn, pawn oh, Shop. Oh yeah, Pawn Shop is a great it, It's a tip. great place to go buy tools, especially if you're just getting started and really don't sure. have any money. Oh yeah. So. Well, what are you working on here? This, this is, is Finish Masters uh, Hoodmaster Challenge. Mm -hmm. so, you're in it again, huh? Yeah, so. Are we getting a sneak peek? Yeah, we're gonna get a sneak peek. So I'm, I'm, I've already worked three sections and I'm waiting for this to dry so I can do these sections because I did a little bit of water, so. Yeah. But I'm trying to get Ooh. that up there. So I got one more, well, two more panels to do. And that's the two outers, but I'm not going to be how able to. How did you make the, how did you do that? Uh, a little or bit of spook tell, magic. Ah. Actually, it's an old, old technique. So at the end of the day yesterday, after I had everything lined up and ready to go for these two stripes, um, I did a light mist of water, believe it or not, shot silver in one direction and let it sit overnight. Oh, it looks like stickers. It almost does, but it gives a 3D effect of the of water water droplets. Yeah. So all right. And it's gonna be super shiny when it's done? Oh yeah. I'm probably gonna do at least three or four layers of clear. Kinda like it. So I'm just it, it's it, it's just me playing in here and that's yeah. my inspiration. It's just have fun with it. Sure. When I did last year's I did a lot of crinkling and, and faded out imagery and stuff like that. And I, I just went into the, to the booth and had fun. And that's what I'm doing here is I'm just playing with some different techniques. And, um, I do have an upcoming video, uh, step by step how to do this oh. without me actually talking. Okay. It's just, you just music watch. and I, I, I don't know. I think I downloaded about eight videos yesterday <laughs> onto that file. So look forward to that uh, right. come some Sunday here. Some Sunday. So it's going to be a long edit, so I'm sorry. Oh, thanks. <laughs> a lot of time to have yeah, the paint shaker going. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's go find out what's going on in the shop since I've been back here. We're kind of slow in the paint shop right now. Yeah. That's nice. I'm going to use caught up. This is going home, right? Where's Darren? <laughs> Darren. Oh, there he is. California, guys. I see you found my skateboard. <laughs> I think that's mine. It's hers. It's mine. But I'll so never anyway, ride it again. And Von Hot Rod did all the fence right. Yes, it's gorgeous, but it will kill you. <laughs> Only if you don't know what you're doing, you know. All I'm right. Old. I'm older than you. You are a little bit older than me, Very but I was 52 when I took my first ride on it and wiped out, and I'm done. It looks so easy when you guys do it. What is it? Yeah. Says the California guys. 
Yeah. All right. Let's, um, let's go see right, what's let's going go on. Outside, real quick. Let's we'll start it. outside and see what we're going to do. And it's not so hot. <laughs> did we touch on Mr. Harden's bug? I guess. No, we, no we did not. It's in there, so y'all been talking about seeing it. Here's its panels. So no, we're no, going to. No, no, no. This is the. Verbal. Okay, I'm confused. <laughs> they all look the same. But okay. well, we've got the panels. It's all done. We're going to put it back together, the panels on it, mount it to the body, and send it home. So okay. it went back and forth. He was going to have us paint it. Right. And wasn't, then was, and now he's back to us. They're going to do right. it. So we're he's going to do it. Great. We're going to put it together and send it home. So. Sounds good. Doing that here in the next couple of days. That might be a special video. I don't know. Sure. Um, now here we have got... Mr. Stewart's um, super, which he came in just, he's a customer that's come in several times for um, shop work, I call oh, it, which okay. is, you know, tune up the lights. So this time we did an oil change, oh, yeah. put a new e-brake on it for him, uh, put a seat knob that he was missing. So he does a little work at a time, just brings in and gets some stuff done. So it, I call him, he's he's going to come and get it. So it's it's sitting there ready to go home. And that's then we got bug. Mr. Steele's uh, 676 super here that uh, we did an oil change, we had to put a new wiper motor on it, we had to put some seat rails on, and a couple other little things, and Joseph's finishing up the last couple of things, he's got a wiring problem, so you put a new part on it, it makes oh. others up, so. <laughs> 76 Super probably had, who knows how many people working on it over the years with wiring, so. Wow. He's, he's about to finish up here in the next five minutes or so, though, <laughs> so. And then, We'll send her on home. So oh, beautiful. Maybe go home the next day or so. And then Mr. Parks. Yeah. Here. I'm, I'm, uh, it's been I covered ordered up some until parts. today. We're kind of just waiting on it, but I'm, I'm fixing to take the top off. Yeah. We're going to send the, the top, the frame out for powder coat. So okay. I'm going to do that Are you going to replace the canvas? Or yeah, just... he has a new top already. I was going to say. Bought. He supplied a lot of the parts. Great. So. Okay. Yeah, because it looks a little rough. So I wasn't going to do that until we got home, but I can go ahead and say that powder coat. The problem is, is it's convertible, so we don't want it to be in the, too much weather. Yeah. we got a cover for it, but still. Ooh, so, it's a little smelly. Yeah, so it was been stored in a container. Ah. So, um, but yeah, that's part of the part of the, the convertibilization. So uh -huh. we're going to get that going, and then and then you should see this guy start moving, which is we're not doing a full restoration. But we're doing quite a bit of work to it. Yeah. So. Anyways. Great. Um, We'll walk back in here. And it's kind of nice not having it be like a sauna outside. Yeah, I know. It's a little <laughs> bit cooler today. It's, it's going to get hot though. All right. And then we got um, Fergus in here. So yeah. we're, we, I know we talked about it last week, but we uh, we were waiting. So we, we did put this, um, we, did, we talked about a little bit. We were waiting on some heated coil inserts to finish this up. And, the, and oh, yeah. uh, Jeremy did that. So that's done. Beautiful. And then we're going to, uh, we're just going to attach this bumper. It's going to go to alignment and then go home. Yay. Again. Yay! <laughs> so, uh, we'll go over to uh, Miss the, skill? the, the Gills. Yeah. So we got. Yeah. Um, we were waiting on some parts. Some bushings came in that were wrong for the front end, so that's why it was stuck here on the lip. Ah. And it came in, so now I can roll. So I'm gonna roll Ferguson out, hopefully here in a minute, and take this outside. And then the next thing is he can start it up because we want to start in here, and then tune the motor. And then this one's getting ready to call. So wow. they did put some new. Um, since last week, put the new uh, outer scrapers on, so oh, we do. Yeah. So they put those on there all the way around, so those are a little hard to get in sometimes. But uh, they got that in there. So there's a couple other little things, little knick knack things we have to do on it, and then it'll be going home. Yay! Uh, over here on Miss Riley. Yeah, what's going on there? Good day. I guess it's gonna be a separate video where we're gonna put the windshield in the, with the windshield sitting here prepped, ready to go. I put in the dash, which that's new, so you can see yeah. the dash pad, I drive oh, through the dash nice. pad, which is a lot easier to put in when the windshield's out, because well, once yeah. you put the windshield in, you're all dealing with that yeah. summer. We're, uh, we're dealing with that, and then the windshield, we're going to hopefully today put the windshield and the rear glass in, and then go from there, and that's all we can do until we get the rest of the all right. back. So that's a little bit of movement on Riley, at yeah, least. Yeah, sure. Um, Gazzo, still oh, waiting no. on the axles. Rain still waiting on the seat uh, parts, but so, um, Mr. Right. Hershker, we did do some work on Hershker. He got his kill mat all completely done, so he's kill matted all the way up. Yeah. And uh, in the compartment, so we're going to put his doors and his fenders and his Ooh. hood and deck lid on that. It's going to look like a real car. It'd be looking like a real car, so that's where... Where it gets fun because now you're dealing with paint on paint, so oh, we gotta be careful. But yeah, that's, that's, true. that's fun. It's and, getting there. Mm, yeah, so <laughs> this one's just one that he's added work as we go, so it's sure. kind of 
Yes, to a point that where we're going. Yeah, so. All right. And we'll go out this way if you want to, and we'll sure. check out the rest of uh, what's going on. I hear there's a bunch of work going on out here on deck. So let's go see what's going on out here. So we have Mr. Henry's 72 bus here, local customer. Um, he did a lot of the work himself, but we're doing some front end work, and they're putting in the headliner right now. So you can see that. Um, tandem headliner work. Nice. Right so they're getting a lot of experience with that and they're excited. They love doing it. Fantastic. Seriously? Look how excited they are. <laughs> so. It looks like a test of patience. Yeah, they're so excited right now. I can't even believe <laughs> it. I mean, they really? might even put it on and then take it off and put just it back on again. Yeah, that's, okay, how they, okay. that's how they like to do it. That's just, that's, you know, for... Just for kicks. Yeah, just to giggle. <laughs> and then back here... Somewhere over there, I think. Jeremy's Did we lose a welder? There somewhere. There's a here's an old piece of what is used to be the heater channel and the support. Oh. And cut oh, that that's out. Rough. So you, Look at that. Yeah, it's really bad. That's the bottom one you couldn't see. So oh. and this is a support. Yeah, this bottom part is a support. Verbal has so uh. you know regular has just your heater channel. Yeah. Which you see this part here is all you see. So that supports for the for the uh so like halfway to being a Finstone mobile. Yes. Yeah, so right now he's got so if you get over this way where you can and come from the side there, he's built a, a skeleton frame to keep the car from. Oh moving. yeah, that's good. So we had <laughs> to do that basically when he cut that out now, these two pieces are separate. Yeah. So we had to have this oh, to hold it together. so it wouldn't twist anyway, yeah. and we spent a little really? time figuring that out because it could move, you know, yeah. on several different axes. So he did that ah, frame that out, Jeremy did. And right. now he cut that out and he's working his way back. Oh, and we'll do wow. one side at a time. Fantastic. So yeah, that's that's come along. That's that's feel like pretty big metal. Building a skyscraper. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of Get the scaffold in. going, man. That's awesome. So yeah. Very so cool. He's in there getting his little cage. He likes to be in there too. He's really excited. <laughs> He doesn't want to come out. He wants me to bring him. I love oh, yeah? Spaces. Yeah, he doesn't want to ever leave. The left confined? Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not 500 degrees here. So. Exactly. Not. And sometimes that. when you're working on cars like this and the word custom, you even have to customize your tools and how you do it. So sure. we're sitting here and it's on this real nice rack. But yeah. the part that bolts to the rack is the part we're replacing. Oh. So we can't have it bolt to the rack. So we went back and forth. We're like, hey, we can get wool. We can make a metal this. We could do that. I said, let's just yeah. stack five tires up and put it on the tires. On the oh, so yeah. All right. Point. And then we have a piece of wood back here kicking off. So boom. It's so it's funny. Right. It's like custom, you know, customize custom. your tools, customize your workspace. Custom, custom, car custom for the custom car rack. So. <laughs> October 16th. October 16th. Car show. So um while I'm doing the mini hood challenge thing, I'm also painting up, we're gonna be giving away a long deck. Ah. Uh, um with wheels and trucks and the whole thing wow. assembled and rip tape and custom painted by by yours personally. Yeah. yeah. Well, the one I'm working on now. Oh. Am I excluded from that? No. Can, he no, win a, no, can he win a deck? So, uh, it's Alaric Community Farms this year, October yes. 16th. So, that's going to be one of the raffle items that we're going to be doing. One Great. Up. One up. We, yeah, we've, we've got, got lots. a bunch. Plus the engine blow. So, we're doing the engine blow. and then Are we, we making trophies? Yes. We're gonna Who's going to make the trophies? Gonna be on him this year. Oh, Welder. how you feel about making some trophies? Yeah, I'm cool with that. <laughs> you so, get to do whatever you want. Yeah. And it's going to be... Uh, all uh, people's choice. People's choice. So one, two, and three. It's all voting by the public. So. Oh, that's kind of cool. So you don't have to have a Volkswagen to come to the show, obviously. No. Um, do you have to have a classic Volkswagen to enter? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's fair. You know. You but you can bring your other cars if you want to show sure. them. Sure. Yeah. yeah, we're yeah, doing the had, too, so yeah. We do yeah. We've had Porsches. We've had all kinds of classics. Bringing, well, a couple people asked how you can bring in their old Camaros or something. We said, yeah, sure. Come Bring it. Us. We want to see it. We like it. So, look at this guy. Uh-oh. He's going to be running the parts. Oh. Uh, the swap meet. Oh, yeah. Is he building the engine blow engine? No, that's already built. It's already built. Okay. He's a closet VW guy. He drives yeah. a newer VW. All so right. He likes VW. We'll accept the water cool crowd. Absolutely. Yeah, so, <laughs> hey, after driving that car, I can see why it came to the fast. I mean, from the dealer, I, I can see why. Oh. Like, that's, that'll put you in the back of the seat. Oh my. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> you need no sleeper, that's the answer. So, well, well, there we go. All right, guys. Well, you know what to do. Bye, Bye nice people. people.